Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So I am heading out today. I got everything sorted last night. What I want to do uh, today, um, after our disastrous, murderous day yesterday, is get our butt down there, pick up the treasure map, and then, or the treasure from the treasure map, uh, and then once that's done, um, we got to go back to this trader and drop some stuff up, but we'll do that later today. I want to go down um, here and investigate this town to see if we can find another cracker book. I want to try and find the pump shotgun schematic. Um, oh, lag. Uh, and I also want to try and find um, the... Uh, let's go this way. The... Um, Sorry, my brain's not working today. Um, the uh, steel club schematic as well. And hopefully we can avoid the damn birds. Sorry if I'm a little bit slow today. I'm just like really, really tired. Um, I've been trying to get, like, record more episodes, but... Ooh, I've been so exhausted over the Christmas holiday, I just haven't been able to function. And there's a crack book right here. Have we been in this one? No, we haven't, have we? Let's hit this one up first before we go to the treasure. Let's kill these guys on the outside first, though. So, I decided to switch things up a little bit. I brought the shotgun today. Because I think our major issue last episode... Uh, let's turn this off for now. Um, was that the M60 is generating a tremendous amount of heat. And I think what had happened was um, that screamer spawned in and it just heard us and just started screaming and more stuff. Now normally they scream only when they see you. So maybe that was the case. I don't know, but um, I have a feeling that they were, it was, something was screaming. Either that or just the noise alone was more than enough to draw the zombies in, but that was an awful lot of zombies. Scrap that, take that. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little whack today, too. Like I said, I haven't recorded in quite a while, so I gotta kinda get used to it and get back into the swing of things. Um, my life's just been really, really busy. With my computer going down, um, it's made things uh, a lot harder. So, but anyway, let's just forget about all that and. There's a snack. Let's forget about all that and get into this building. Hey, lady. Oop. How much do I gotta lead you? Nope. Oh, from. Yeah, yeah, I know. Bring it in. Ow. There you go, lady. There you are. Alright, let's put some stuff in the bike. So I've been playing a lot offline. Okay, these guys can all go in there. You can go in there. I stopped carrying the stones with me. Because you don't really need them. I guess we can leave the wood in there for now. I'm trying to get used to, like, not carrying so much around with me. Uh, let's keep this out just in case. All right, let's clear this place first, and then we'll go ahead and loot everything, and hopefully we can get some good books. I brought my looting goggles, and I got the loot candy on me. I was hoping to uh, use those for the treasure map, but since we found this, I'll probably use it going through here. There's another snack outside. Hey. That's what happens when you fall asleep on the job. Oh, I missed. That time I didn't. Okay, we got anybody else over there? Don't see anybody. Can we get up on here? We sure can. That's a better view, eh? Ooh. I'm not used to taking them out in one shot. I've been playing another game. And I've been playing on insane difficulty again, because that's what I usually want. Ow! 
I like to play on. Where the hell did you two come from? And things go south real quick. How did I miss that? Come on, use the bandage. There you go. She's coming after me with one arm. What is going <laughs> I just mentioned about insane difficulty and here I am. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Don't die. Oh my God. What is it with this game all of a sudden? I don't play for the longest time out here. It lulls you into a false sense of security. Let's get under cover. Just so that the uh, birds don't get us. Oh my god! And of course I forgot to eat before I came and now I'm fatigued. Alright, we're going back <laughs> home <laughs> to get some stuff to fix ourselves up. Then we're coming back because I'm not letting this defeat me. I'm almost like ready to like shut the game off and <laughs> start recording again later. Oh my god. Okay, you're getting run over just under principle. Uh, you can blame that on your buddies. Actually, let's go to the trader. Let's go to the trader right now. We'll turn this stuff in. Maybe we can get some stuff off him and get back out again. Ah. Uh, you know, I should have figured that that was going to happen. As soon as I mentioned insane difficulty, they're like, zombies are like, oh yeah, I don't care about your insane difficulty. This is the wastelands, buddy. This is what happens when you're out here. Uh, we got jailbreakers, rockbusters, not a whole lot. All right, what do you got in here? <sighs> I sure doubted it, but do you Herbal antibiotics, we don't need. How much is this worth? 161, 57, 120. I'm not using spears. Let's go for the money because we do have a lot of antibiotics and stuff at home. All right, uh, let's just sell this. Now, um, ah man. Oh, well, that's 800. We're going to go home and get our money and come back, I think. Uh, you don't, yeah, I don't think we've, when did it restock? Let's buy this real quick. Make up for the one we lost. Yeah, I'll be back. All right, we're going to go home, fix this problem. Get something to eat. Get our health back up. Maybe I should just stay here. <laughs> just spend the rest of the day here. Uh, that's not happening. All right, let's use one of these to get rid of the fatigue. Uh, sewing kits are elsewhere. I should probably take a lot more of these with me, huh? Um... Could take a full med kit, uh, but I don't think we need to do that. Now we need a sewing kit first before I do anything else, which I think is here. Yep, yeah, let's use that. I should probably keep some of these in the motorbike, but eh, you know me. All right, let's grab some food. Uh, where is it here? I haven't painted these yet. Uh, all right, let's use the meat stew. Okay, and then we're going to use two of these guys. One, two, because we're going to suffer from water problems. Okay, drop that back in there. Now, um, that should get our health back up a bit. We got a chance to use another painkiller now, don't we? We do. Perfect. There we go. Look at that. It's like nothing ever happened, eh? Uh, I'm going to take some water with me though because we are going to get thirsty real fast and I should probably take let's take one of these with me put them in the bike for now alright now we're going to go back to the trader um, he does restock I think tomorrow although I guess I should have checked what he had on him I don't want to take too much with me though um, we barely have anything to sell anyway uh, let's just see if you'll buy these things. Uh, I'm not going to take those things with me. Put this here. Alright, let's go back. I just realized too we're at 6% gas, so we're going to 
wrench a couple cars. Oh man, what a way to start off an episode, eh? Well, at least they didn't die. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Shut up. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's just sell you some stuff here. And I, I know, of course, I'm using my wrong. Thank God you're done browsing. I ain't done. Shut up. Um, shotgun. We're taking that. Uh, what's this? Against mountain lions. We're not going to be seeing mountain lions anytime soon. Uh, oh, man. Okay, batter up volume two. Uh, letter jackets. Wait, are we? We're wearing a letter jacket I already, guess aren't we? Not so bad after all. I am at the game though. Uh, we're wearing a letter jacket already, right? Yeah, so we don't need to make them. Um, not gonna buy that right away. 10% more damage with 44s. We'll take that sucker. Uh, we've already got a choke on this thing. So I don't think we need another one. Polymer strings, robotic parts, structural brace mod. Now do we have... Got one there. That's got a handle on it already. This has got a ton of crap on it for digging. Why did I have... The bunker buster on the shovel. Probably because I could one hit stuff with it. Um, take your gunpowder. What else do you got? Steel I should buy, but we got the crucible now, so it's not a big deal. Crush sand. Eh. And wait, if we got a cigar, else, right? You best be on your way. We do have a cigar. All right, what else we got left here? You, nothing, and nothing. All right, well, well what kind of lousy customer are you anyway? Oh, uh, don't even start with me, buddy. Don't even start. It's been a bad fucking day. All right, let's get going. All right, let's store this stuff in the bike. Actually, you know what? Let's take one water out. Look at that, it's almost full already. <sighs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go clear the, uh, the, oh my God, my brain. We're, <laughs> we're going to go clear the Crackle Book. And then we're going to go down. We're not going to loot it. We're going to clear it. We're going to go down to the treasure. Dig it up. Loot it using the loot candy. And then head quickly back here and finish looting this place. I think that's... Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's better or not. Okay, we're loaded. Any more fuckers in here? And here I was, was like, oh yeah, I'm up here now. They must have been in the bathrooms. I bet you that's where they were. Okay, so I think that's clear. I think we gotta go this way now. There's a way... How's it going, buddy? Oh, we got another one down here. Not anymore, we don't. Okay, just pretend that first bit of this video didn't happen. We're just starting now. <laughs> oh, man. Look up. Always look up. Okay, let's just check. I know we got to go outside, but I want to check my corners. Good back here. Okay. Does this door close? It does. Quiet. I don't think there was anybody around here. Let's just check on the other side of this. Yeah, I think there's probably somebody in the trailer. 
So I've been running tests, not really running tests, but I've got a play, is that a cop? I got a playthrough that I was doing. Oh, did he just spawn in? You guys are still alive? I've been doing tests, as I've been saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by a bunch of zombies, um, with light armor. And I've got a guy that's using four pieces of light armor, I think. Actually, I should probably take that. No, it's got five, he's got five pieces of cloth armor. And I guess I should probably have this out. And on each piece, He's got one of those advanced muffle connectors, which is minus 8% noise. And um, I can literally walk right up beside a zombie and they can't hear me. It's pretty impressive, I have to say. And that's with, that's on insane difficulty and stuff too, right? So, but you gotta spend all your time stealthing, right? I think there's... Is this the... There must be a... Where's the main loot? Oh, I have to drop down over there. I better check this whole uh, place first here. I'm gonna have shit dropping down on top of me. But yeah, the the uh, advanced muffle connectors seem to be uh, pretty good. Oh, cop. So I know they're also planning with the next alpha... He's unconscious. Now he's taking another shot. That they're planning on... Uh, well, at least he didn't get to me. I didn't get the XP for him, but... All I care is that he's dead. Oh, hey, what's up? Did you hear the explosion? Is that what it was? Um... But yeah, they're uh, planning on making the wastelands a super difficult area. They're going to amalgamate it with the uh, the burnt biome, which I think is a great idea. And then um, they're just going to make it real difficult. And the loot bonus here will be much higher. All right, now. I know as soon as I drop down here, it's going to be a f fucking shit show. Is that a guy there? It is. Um, can I get to him? Let's just shoot his hand. Okay, he's a runner. I don't think he can get up to me. He's got to break through a lot to do that. Alright. So I don't think he was a runner. I think he was just uh, pissed off. Yeah, we got lots more guys down here. Oh yeah. Okay, you're done. Let's get the guy at the back first. Not dead though. Uh, he must be a runner. Yep, he's feral. God damn it. There we go. All right, Mo, let's see if you're feral. Looks like he is. The eyes. Nope, he's not. Just hold it right there, Mo. Don't move. Don't move. There you go. I think that's... Oh, nope. Can you imagine if I had jumped down there? My luck. Don't break anything. Oh, for crying out loud. There you go. Shotgun out. Make sure we're reloaded. Okay, I'm going to break these open. We're going to leave them open. Oh, I could have jumped in here. Okay, leave those open. Get my arrows back if I can. 
I thought I had to worry. I picked up a bunch of them already. Okay, we'll open this guy up. And we'll open this guy up. All right, now this must go out to, right, this goes out the front. So we're gonna break through here. Then we're gonna head in the bike. Now that we've got this place done, we're gonna head in the bike. We're gonna go down, get the treasure. And come back and loot this place. Let's not die. Now on the map, let's just make sure we put a quick waypoint here. There's kind of a road here, and this looks relatively flat. Gonna make a point though of getting off of the bike if anything comes around us. Now, where did that road go? There it is. So if we got a vulture on us, I'm just gonna get off the bike. I'm gonna see where this goes first. See if it goes any farther south. We're out of gas. You know, saying I'm going to wrench a car apart to get us gas so we can keep going and actually do it are two different things. All right, there we go. 11%. That's tons. And so is that wheelie. Actually, we're going to stop here. Going to stop right here get some more cars. I think we're going the wrong way now anyway, so we're going to have to head out into the, uh, into the craziness. Not prepared to do that, but we are going to do it. Okay, we got a vulture circling, and I got a guy coming up on the side over here. We're just going to get this car. I think I'm going to try and kill that vulture before we go, though. Because he's going to be on us as soon as we pull out of here. Alright, let's drop this stuff in here. That's pretty good. We're almost full. Not bad. Let's grab a water before we go. Stack those. And let's see if we can get a... There he is. Ah, oh, man. I gotta get used to using this bow again. Come on. There you go. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this vulture with, uh... Where the hell did it go? Thought I'd just take a wild shot at it. We'll take one more shot, and then... No. Oh, wait. Ah, crap. Usually, if you can get them flying... Up? Ah, man. Come on. Oh! I did not expect to hit it, but there you go. Okay, shotgun out. Now, I'm not going to go full bore. I'm only going to go normal speed. We'll probably jet it a little bit when it's clear, but... I want to be able to get off the bike when the when the vultures appear. Oh my god. I can't even blame it on lag this time. Okay, here we go. See, I don't even know if this is a landmine. I don't think it is. I mean, it doesn't matter now because, like, I'm immune to landmines. Oh! <laughs> Motherfucker! Got you that time. Just waiting for the next one. Nope. Everyone's staying away. Alright. They're gonna wait till I'm in the hole. Grab some of this iron. All right, let's get this shiz done. All right, there it is. So that wasn't too bad. I actually got in here pretty quick. 
Probably a good thing we found it early because I didn't like. Oh, I thought I heard something. I did hear something. So we're gonna have somebody on us as soon as we leave. All right, I got my uh, jailbreakers in the bike. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Okay, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. She is. No, he is. No, why do they always jump when I shoot? Get over here. See, I was gonna let go that time. Wow, that was a one shot. Oh, you know what? I heard a landmine go off. I'm, he's probably the guy that slept in the landmine. That's probably why. There's no way you can kill one of those big guys with one shot unless you get really lucky. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Gotta love it. All right, we need you, and we need you, and we need you. Let's drop this stuff in here. Uh, oh, yeah, over here. So, I don't know if you guys know, but if you're in here, you can kind of crawl under. Like, you can't get in a one-block space, but you can get right to the very edge of it by creeping. And when the zombies come and they try to attack you, they'll attack the block above you, rather than hitting you. That's what, that's what I find most of the time. So, if you're down in this hole like this, that's what you can do. It'll save you a little bit of time before they get to you. Alright, let's go ahead and use this one first. Actually, wear this. Alright, let's use you first. Pick this guy. I think the, um... I think the, uh... Lucky Looter, uh, candy, the looting candy only lasts for five minutes. So we want to make sure we pop that... After we unlock. Yeah, it's a five minute. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, not bad. Gonna worry about that later. Let's get back to the uh, crack of book. Full speed if we can. Excuse me. Ah, crap. Again? How did it get my knee? Oh, for crying out loud. And you wonder why I put off getting friggin' stuff. I like running around a lot of the time. Especially in the wasteland. Screw you. Where are you? There's a bear out there. There's more than one. Fuck it, start looting. Actually, let's go to the stuff in the back first. Hopefully we get some better stuff out of the boxes. Alright, there's one book. Oh, of course, that's locked. We should be able to get this one too. Oh, man. Hopefully those birds are... I was, I was just about to say, hopefully they'll forget about us, but uh, apparently not. Bang away, you fuckers. Ooh. That's not bad. Take that. All right, we got a box up here. Nothing in that one. I'm expecting them to drop in here. Oh, maybe they forgot about me. Anything in there? No, they haven't forgot about me. They're waiting for me to come back outside. Fuckers. Check this out. Wow, so far it's been crappy. Really? Okay, I think that's it back here. Let's go ahead and use this, hopefully to help with the abrasion. Yeah, it cuts it down to 17 minutes. All right. All right, not even through half the store, and I can hear a zombie outside already. Uh, let's do this methodically here. Yeah, you can hear me now. Here he comes. Hey, free hugs. 
Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I wonder if that bear can get through the window. Getting a lot of paper. Oh, another bicycle chats it. There's a crawler coming. A little late to the party, buddy. More zombies coming. 32 seconds left. And the bear. Oh shit, he's inside! How did you get in? Can you get through the door? I don't think so. Oh, you sure enough can. Christ. Man, I did not think he was going to come in. Oh. Well, we didn't do too bad. I mean, what did I get? The Great Heist. Find more jewelry and pressures. Whoops. No! Don't scrap it! Oh my god. <laughs> Lucky looter. Oh, yeah, it's just a crawler. Ah, scratch a bit more what? Food. Hunter mod, sure. I'm gonna save that and sell it because I don't use my fists. Oh man, the candy cane is basically just like a club. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, shotgun stays out. Alright, we've already looked at those. I hope I find something else. Man, it's almost like with the looter goggles on and stuff. Oh, Fireman's Almanac. 10% more damage than coal and burnt wood, okay. That doesn't make all that much difference. Like, I know it's supposed to add to loot and my guess is what it does is it adds to your game stage for loot it doesn't really add to the amount that's lucky looter I think lucky looter just adds to the amount that you find so if you find something right let's say paper for instance and that you normally find five it adds 20% to loot so you find six instead that's what my guess is because it doesn't really seem to help with the items that I'm finding. And I think the looting goggles, it just adds to whatever your game stage is at for loot. So if your game stage is at 30 when you're looting and you have lucky goggles that are plus 5, then you're looting at level 35 for what you'll find. Doesn't give you anything, like, it just says quality of loot, but that's what my guess is. The quality just means your game stage. Alright, we gotta get home. Not too bad. I mean, not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. We found a few books. I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to sell them. Made some coins today. Put these back on. Get the XP. We've got some flaming arrows, some rockets. High-powered ammo. These are good against unarmored zombies. Um, steel leggings, which we can sell. That we can sell. Actually, we might scrap that because I want to. I, I gonna. We're going to have to make uh, military armor. We're gonna have to do it. We can't not. I don't I don't mind if it slows me down a little bit. Alright, let's get out of here. And just as soon as we pull out a bird's on us. I think I'm gonna have to reevaluate when I'm using the motorcycle. I think it'll be for trips going to um, the traders and stuff if I'm going along a road. But if I'm making my way, you know, across country, I'm just going to put the motorbike in my uh, 
backpack and carry it carry it around because this is just getting crazy. The amount of abrasions and damage I'm taking never happened when I was walking everywhere. Heads up, girl. Okay, let's bring this stuff inside. I've also got an idea what I want to do for Horde Night. I want to redo... I'm not going to redo the base for this Horde, but for the next one I will be redoing it. I'm going to make it into a pipe bomb base, and i got a great idea how to do it. I just don't know if it's going to work well with the base we currently have. I may have to adjust some things. Stop beating on my fucking house. Where are you? Oh, for Christ's sake. One of the reasons why I don't put the uh, farm on the roof is during Horde Night, if I'm in the building, the uh, birds might destroy it. There's a couple people had mentioned that maybe put it on the roof, but just can't do it. It'll just destroy it up there. It's got to be someplace relatively safe. 18k in coin. All right, we're going to put... I'm going to hang on to that HE rocket. I'm going to put that in there for now. Repair kits can go in here. What else? You can go in there. Okay, I'm going to sort this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, that's that stuff put away. Now, uh, as far as the base goes out front, let's grab some material here. I don't know how much I got. Let's grab this guy. Let's grab you. We're going to need to repair that thing. Actually, let's grab a couple of these. Um, concrete I'm not worried about for now. We're going to need to make wood frames. We have wood on us. Uh, I really should be doing this at a rebar. But we got to get stuff dug anyway, so let's go do that. So here's my idea. Get down here. So what I want to do is I want to extend this out. So this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So one more. 9 by 9. Uh, and the way I've got the idea for this base set up is that we're going to do it on three sides. We're going to set it up like a bunker. And it's going to be a flat bottom. Um, but we're going to put a little trough on the outside. And I'll show you what I mean uh, shortly. We're going to dig this out right now, though. Actually, let's go kill this idiot first. Um, so the idea is to have an angled block at your feet. Angling away from you. Oh! Hey, guys. What's up? I guess it's a wandering horde. Oop, missed. More guys. Ooh, sorry buddy, that must have hurt. So the idea is that we're gonna... That's it for them? Beautiful. So we're gonna drop, we're gonna have it so that when the zombies attack... Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up. So we're gonna well we have to dig this down. We're gonna have one layer underneath, then another block above, so we'll be standing on this layer. The idea, uh, let's go back inside and I'll show you here real quick. Kind of on is that on the inside or this side? Oh right here. So the idea is to have the blocks like this. Then this block here will be kind of inverted so that the thick end is down here. So uh, let's get some frames and I'll show you. Need five. So the idea will be to go ahead and we want to get the angle block like this. Go like that. Like that. So if we're standing up there and we drop or we hit them, this isn't going to be here, but we'll hit the zombies. It'll drop, roll, and stay in the trough so the, the pipe bomber won't be able to go very far. And it'll explode right underneath them. Then this block here um, can either be continued like this, or we make this one a one of these guys, and then we have this as a wedge tip. That's my idea, and I've run that, and it's worked really well with a 16 zombie horde, um, or sorry, I ran it with a 12 zombie horde. Is that another one, 12 zombie horde at insane difficulty. So a 16 zombie horde at Warlord should be fine. Come on, you guys. 
I'm not coming out there to get you. You guys come in my yard. Oh, that must have hurt. Ah, missed. Ow. Ooh. Headshots. All right, so let's dig this up. We're going to have to dig all this up. And we have to go underneath here too, I think. So, uh, do we add it just right on the front here? I think we do. I don't want to... I, I got to minimize the amount of resources I'm using. Because I don't want to be out here forever. So this is like what? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. So the inside needs to be a seven by seven. Uh, let's make 30. So one, two, three. So that's the center. And then one, two, three. So that's the inside. So this is the outside. That's the outside. Right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, that's a wall, that's the corner. Right? One, two, three. That's the corner. That's the middle. The corner's here. Yeah. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna we'll frame this in on this side. And we're going to run from corner to corner. We're going to run electric fencing. So we'll be fencing around the three sides. We're going to force them around the front where we're going to be sitting. With three open walls. One block. We're all, almost a block open wall. It's a bit like we have it here almost. Because um, this is... Is that a plate up there? No. But there'll be a bar across here. So they won't be able to get in. The so dogs won't be able to get in. Let's kill this guy too. I think I'm getting the hang of it. There we go. So yeah, that'll be it. And then we'll just see how it goes. I mean, we only need to dig down in the center portion where we are. Then the rest can just sit on top for now. I mean, we can dig under later. I'm just worried about demolishers later on if they go off. On the outside, you want to have blocks underneath so they're not hitting on your walls. And then we'll use this as a fallback. Like, if they manage to break through this area and get in, we'll just, we'll make it so that we can get inside here. So we'll pull this out, put hatches down, and then we defend right here if we have to. Like, we can put a hatch down opening the other way. Then we can throw a block in here and upgrade it until this hatch gets destroyed, then that block should theoretically be dried and we'll be in here fighting from in there as last resort. That's my goal. Alright, let's see if we can get this dug up though. Alright, well that's the nighttime bell and I am not going to be sitting outside during the nighttime digging that stuff up. So most likely what we'll have done before the next horde is we'll have the we'll have the whole area out here the base part of it done. We'll, we'll cobblestone it, then we'll upgrade it to concrete, and then we can worry about later on, um, like not for the day 28 horde, but for the day 35 horde, we'll worry about getting that upgraded uh, and ready to go. I just don't think we have enough time. I could spend all of tomorrow doing it, but I think I want to go out looting again tomorrow. Um, let's get this concrete going. So I'm going to spend the time in the mine, I think, tonight, digging up some more stone um, and get that ready. Um, so we've got enough. Hopefully I find some iron down there. It'd be nice if I did, but you never know. And what I might try and do is also dig a tunnel out to the base out there so that um, I can have a hatch and escape down a hatch if I have to. But I don't know, maybe I won't. Maybe they might see that as a weak point. So I'm going to leave it there. All right, I'm leaving this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.